All right, welcome back to LearnWire. I found this app on Product Hunt. It's called Trickle. You can build stunning AI apps, websites, and forms with ease. We're gonna go take a look at this. This reminds me of my last video, which was done on lovable.dev. And this is a similar tool. So we should be able to go and build some simple web apps. Let's go take a look at it. So here is the site right over here. We're gonna go get started for free, but this is what it looks like. Different things that uh, people are building in here. You can build, you know, just simple uh, music player right here, 3D solar system, different apps that people are creating using the app. I'm going to go and get started real quick. All right, so we've just logged into the app. It looks like there's an analytics tab over here. Probably shows what you have used, how many credits you've used, things like that. You have your project settings over here. And then also I wanna go and look at the pricing. So upgrade to pro, looks like they're right on track with, this is very kind of modeled. I don't know which one's been around longer, but this is very, very similar, even the pricing to uh, lovable.dev. You can join for free, five messages per day. So we won't be able to do much, but I just wanna see what we can come up with. Your pro account, scale your ideas and creativity with greater success, $20 per month, 120 messages per month. You do get 20 more messages than um, lovable.dev. And then you can add more on, more messages, uh, kind of a la carte right there. And then premium, you will get three times more messages per month. That's coming soon. They have not released that yet. Probably just still trying to scale their infrastructure to make sure that they can actually handle that. But this is what it looks like. So it looks like community creations. We have some different things. So let's look at some landing pages that people are creating. Looks right, right, right over here. Very kind of artsy kind of like uh, reminds me of a uh, gum road and just kind of an art type design over here pretty cool so that's kind of a e-commerce type uh, store design right there is what it looks like let's come over here this is a landing page very looks very very nice this landing page over here the future of ai powered analytics man management get started a uh, platform your analytics overview so this just looks like a very beautiful landing page that someone has created. You can actually come in here, view this in a new tab. You can duplicate this and then maybe change the colors and let somebody else already do the hard work for you, especially for landing pages. I think it's totally fine to do that. Maybe just change the color a little bit. I'm impressed with some of these landing pages for sure. Let's go look at tools over here. Uh, player, Wikipedia, mind map. That looks really cool. Someone built this right over here. Can do some different stuff with this right over here. So it looks like you can do some pretty elaborate stuff with this. So let's go and actually see if we can build a similar tool than we created in lovable.dev. So I'm gonna go create my new project right over here. And this is going to be design style. We can, they actually have some to look at. So actually auto style, brutalism, neo brutalism, neo candy. So these are some of the ones that they, I believe created themselves, dark purple, so let's create one like this and then popular prompts, landing page, chat assistant, market research survey. So they can give you some prompts if we click on that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Database. I'm not sure. We, it's not giving us really any choices right there. We do have a settings over here. Custom knowledge. We can actually put a bunch of knowledge in there. That's actually pretty cool. I might want to come back to that. I actually like that. I didn't see the option to do that in Lovable. So let's go over and grab our prompt. All right, so here is a prompt that I created in Lovable to see if it can do something similar to this. I'm gonna come back over here, paste this in right here. There's our prompt, and then what do we push? We push this button over here, and we push Enter, and now it should be going out there um, similar to uh, Bolt and very similar to Lovable. Let's see what they're able to do. So YouTube Title Generator, it's creating the index.html page right now. It's coding for us. Here's the styles, the main uh, files. We'll come back in just a minute. And then there's the components, the search box.js. And then the video card, title card. So it's really going along the way. You can see it coding in real time. It's not showing the code over here. I'm uh, not really sure if we can open that up, but there's your knowledge base right over there. I'd like to do a test on that as well. We can go and click on our history over here. You can click over here on code and here's the code actually being created for us right over here. 
can actually look at all the code. I really like the layout and the UI of this tool is super, super slick, as good or even a, a smidgen better than Lovable than any of the ones that I've seen. It just looks super, super crisp, super clean. I really like UA, UI layouts like this. I like that we can push the code and then we just have quick access to the code. I believe in Lovable, you have to actually use GitHub in order to access all the code and so forth, or it's just a little harder to get to. So this looks similar to what we created in in Lovable. So the application includes modern UI with white background, blue text, and an orange buttons, search functionality for YouTube topics, display of top 15 videos by views, AI powered title generation, best title highlighting with trophy icon, character count display, and responsive design. Now, we have four messages remaining, right? So if I want to query this again, we've already used one because we used one prompt. In order to go more, use more than that, we're going to have to get a $20 a month plan. Now, the thing that I'm interested in this is how easy this would be to use APIs and how knowledgeable is it to be able to use popular APIs to integrate into here. I also don't know, let's see, database over here. If I click on database, tell the AI what data to save and it will automatically create tables and handle the related code logic. So I'm not really sure how that works. Maybe they have a native way to do this. They do have a deploy button. So it's very similar to Lovable. I'm quite sure it's going to be on the same level as far as it doesn't have Suba base and it probably doesn't do as well with the APIs, but we'll try to at least query it. But we do have a nice layout right here. Let's go. And I really don't want to change. I'm sure that if we tell it to change the colors, I'm sure it'll do. I don't do well with that, but I want to save these four for maybe some more important updates. But let's go in here and let's just try something. I'm gonna type in affiliate marketing. Now we can hover over and you can see that when we hover over the mouse, it does change a darker orange. I like that, the, the, the coded that way. We can also push the enter button and then it worked and it was very, very fast. I like the way it looks. Obviously it's creating dummy kind of content for us right now. And so here's the top YouTube videos for affiliate marketing, how to master affiliate marketing in 2024. And it's saying that, it, you know, it got 150 million views or something like that. Top 10 affiliate marketing tips and tricks, affiliate marketing tutorial for beginners, affiliate marketing masterclass, why affiliate marketing is trending now. So I think it came up with these topics just using AI. It didn't really actually go and scrape. We know that. Now, how many topics did it come up with? One, two, three. So three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it did come up with the 15. It did follow the instructions that we gave it to now have a button right over here to create my next video title. So we have this right here. I can click over here and push that and it should now be creating our title for us. Let's see, it says it's loading. So it already took care of the loading screen for us as well. It should be done with that process. Maybe we have to scroll down to see our topics. I do not see that it um, came up with the topics for us. So create my next video title. So we got an error. What would you like to create or modify? So we got an error. Let's click on that and see what it was. So it was an unexpected token. Let's fix in chat. And we're fixing this. And I don't think that that counts as a message. Let's see if that takes away from our four messages remaining. Fixing an error might not count as a message. Prompting and telling it to do something else or adding a new feature or changing or editing, that counts as a message, but I don't think fixing errors actually counts as a message. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. It gives us enough time to actually play around with the tool, see how well it can perform for us. It fixed that and it and it did take away a message. So I take that back. I lied. Even fixing an error message is going to require one of your messages. And that's why I wanted to definitely not waste those. So it's saying that I'll help you fix the JSON parsing error, title generator, YouTube title generator right here. So the changes made include, uh, we cleaned up the AI prompt to require a strict JSON array format, added response cleaning to remove markdown code blocks, implemented error handling with fallback titles, added validation for number of titles and improved error reporting. This should resolve this issue. So let's go and try again. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna type in affiliate marketing. And this time I'm gonna push the button and that pops up. There's our 15 titles right there. Now we're gonna say create I next, and it did sort it by highest videos amounts. 
to lowest amount. Now I'm gonna say create my next video title and see if it can actually do this. We're in the loading screen right now, but can it actually come up with something? And it did work this time. Super, super cool. So, so far, so good. So far it's able to basically do what Lovable can do as well. It says characters like we specified. We come back over here to the, we literally told it to we set it right here, display the character count in the final title creation results. Then from the five titles, automatically highlight the card in orange with a trophy symbol, the one that it chose, right? And so we come back over here, it ch it's choosing this one at the top. I don't know if it's moving the one at the top automatically that's um, highlighted in orange as well, but it says affiliate marketing success tips you need to know. It does highlight that, gives a trophy there. Beginner guide to affiliate marketing, unlocking affiliate marketing strategies that work. Obviously I would wanna fill this with more knowledge. We would come into the knowledge base and I would literally go in here and give it a bunch of knowledge. Maybe we'll test this tool out one more time. Actually, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Lovable and see if I can find all the history and the titles that I gave that my Lovable tool over here and see if we can find it. Oh, I think it's in my viral title generator was the same type of tool that I created over here. But look at all these titles right over here. I want to go and bring those in because we know that these right here, here are sample titles. So we're gonna come back over here into SO and we're gonna come in here to our knowledge base and we're going to paste this in right here. And there is no save button. So I'm gonna go ahead and just exit out of that and then click on knowledge again to see if it took, it did automatically save. Now I'm gonna say over here when creating titles for the, be very specific when doing this, for the create my next video title step, use and model after the titles that are in the knowledge area. Now apply any niche, we need to figure this part out, right? So just because the niche, so if the niche typed in has no examples in the knowledge area, that is fine. We are just using the knowledge as a base and info to model our titles after. So now we're going like this. It should code this in. It's gonna take another message. We're gonna get down to two over here, but then we're gonna go and try this one more time. I'm gonna copy affiliate marketing right here and then see if the titles come out better because now we fed it some knowledge, which is super, super cool. So now it's working on the update. So, so far, very impressive, very similar to Lovable. Again, I would need to take this to the next level and really try to add a database. It looks like they have a way to do a database in here. Not sure if it's just there, they've built their own way to do a database inside of here, which is kind of cool if you're building some small scale apps, then you can use this tool to manage that. But we, we just don't know a lot about this, what their limits are and so forth. And then finally, the deploy button, obviously, we have to have a pro plan to be able to deploy. But I would need to do some further testing to see how easy it is to actually deploy. But I haven't deployed one on Lovable. So I'm not going to compare I can't compare the two. <clears throat> but right now it said it said it made changes added a collection of examples, successful titles from the knowledge area enhanced the uh, prompt to include specific patterns found in successful titles. Added detailed instructions about formatting patterns to follow. Update um, fallback titles to better match the successful title patterns and improved error handling while maintaining. So now the title generation will now better model the patterns and the style of the successful example titles while adapting to the specific niche. That was the part that is very specific that I was really looking for. It's gonna just model that, but it's gonna to adapt to the specific niche or topic being searched. So now we can go over here, we'll try affiliate marketing again, we'll create the topics, there's our 15 videos, then we'll go and create the, the titles and see if they're any better. And here we go, how to make $1,000 a week with affiliate marketing step-by-step. -step. So now we've created a tool and I gotta be honest, it was actually easier in Trickle. Nobody knows about Trickle, right? It's on the up and up. It doesn't have a half million people going to their site per month, it has like 10,000. So nobody knows about this tool, but this one is uh, on the surface is, is, is as good as all the other ones, is as good as the big heavy hitters. Of course, we don't know about the deploy and the database, but certainly to get to this point, it did just as good as the other apps. Very, very impressed with this because look at these titles. Earn $2,500 a month using free affiliate marketing tools. 
case study, $800 a day affiliate marketing strategy. Um, I have affiliate marketing tips to boost your earnings, how I made that much with affiliate marketing, three steps. So now let's go and try this again. We'll go over here and let's do something totally different, like build an app with AI. I'm just going to say build an AI app, create topics. We would need to do a little bit more on the knowledge base and uh, this a, a, a little bit too. I like that the knowledge base is something that we can kind of refer to and do a little bit more in Lovable. You just have to type everything into the chat over here. So I actually really like that. I think that that's actually a one up on Lovable versus Trickle. Uh, but certainly these are just dummy right over here. If we were gonna launch this tool and actually utilize this if for real, we would need to hook up some type of API or scraper for us to be able to go and find the real topics on YouTube, because that's where we're gonna be taking real factual knowledge and research to help craft all our new titles, right? But then we'll go over here, create my next video title, and we'll see how well it performs for us. How to build an AI app. So build an AI app is the keyword, how to build an AI app in 2024, step-by-step -step guide, really good. $5,000 a month creating AI app tools right there. So again, you could do all kinds of things with this. It did really well with the titles there and it, it picks the one that it, it likes the best. Another thing that we could do is we could also, oh, I would need to add in the copy feature here so we can copy these. That's very easy to add in. Just come over here and say, hey, add a copy button over here and it will do that for us. This is really, really cool. Uh, the deploy button actually does highlight over here. I'm going to click it just to see what happens. Here's your app link, deploy history, update title generation. I'm not really sure what that does, but here's our copy link over here. And we can go and open up our app. I'm fledged right here. We could actually leave this below. And obviously you need a pro plan to get rid of the built with trickle. And we could go in here and just say Pinterest and then create our new titles. And we have a new software you know, we don't even know what we're doing and we were able to build. So super, super cool. It creates viral YouTube titles over here. If you didn't want all of them to be like this, you know, very catchy, make money online, stuff like that, you would want to just add in more, a bunch more. You want to add in a massive database of amazing titles that have performed in a mil, you know, several different niches that you can think of on YouTube. And then you want to write in the instructions that you want to find the most relatable topic or uh, niche, and then you want to create the titles based on that. Or another thing you could do is say, you know, create one title from every type of, you know, put in like 20 different main niches on YouTube. And then you could say something like create two titles for every niche that you put in the knowledge base. And then you, it would create all these titles for you that are going to not just be all the same, you know, very catchy. These are, these do well with affiliate marketing and stuff like that but really you would want to have a variation so that the user that's using the tool can actually look at different titles and different, you know, different ways to look at how they want to actually title their next YouTube video. So really, really cool. What did you guys think about uh, Trickle? I thought this was really easy to use as good or better than Ovable. I'm going to be doing more videos like this because I'm actually starting to really get interested in this because, you know, I got to be honest, I've paid, like I said, I've paid money for tools that look less than this. This, that, that, that don't look aesthetically appealing like this. And I've paid money to get apps that look, you know, worse than this and that don't even function as good. And so now we've moved into a, the very beginning stages of AI, uh, no code apps that we can actually, if you know how to use, how to prompt specifically what you're looking for, you can get very far with creating these apps. Let me know what you guys think. If you want more on Trickle, just comment below that you watch the whole video and uh, write trickle.so or just trickle. Actually, yeah, don't put a link in the description. Just, just say trickle or more videos like this and I will be happy to create more videos like this.